You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Which is ironic since she looks like a tour guide. All right, hey guys, welcome to part two of episode two of Batman the Telltale series. And in the first part, all that you really missed was that Falcone, I say all that, Falcone got fucking assassinated by a policeman, Rene Montoya, who had been somehow corrupted, we believe poisoned, and she said something that Penguin said in the first episode, so we believe that he has some sort of, his his grubby little penguiny fingers or flippers are involved here in the situation. So let's jump straight in and continue on with Batman Telltale series, episode two, Children of Arkham. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. I'm not just judge, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if we were going to have to do some sort of, like, chemical higgery-jiggery. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. <laughs> the drones, they were awesome in the first one. You didn't see it, we had to like go around and like kind of highlight things and like set up like a massive attack before we actually implemented it. It was fucking cool. Although it wasn't that big, because that's like the size of a building, that drone there. Select a drone to search for Oswald's cell phone signal. Okay, well, let's go for... Let's go for the one in the middle, because you'd think that kind of might cover a bigger place. All right, so what do we do? Scan. Or we just literally have to go around the whole thing and scan. Okay, that was lucky. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Okay, we'll go for... This one. Okay, so with this last one, should we try the island first? Oh, it tells you! You didn't have to randomly click it. 
be all right. Right. That would help. When did he take that picture of them in the park? The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. Ooh. It's time he met the Batman. It's kind of silly how it's kind of like leaning forward, looks like he's in like headbutt and everything looks at it. Maybe like Killer Croc in the background there, that green guy. If he had like taped wrists, uh, I'd definitely say it was him, but I don't know. He's got the vest for it. You lot, come check out this office. See, so again, did that thing where you press it, but it does the move even though the thing didn't turn yellow. It's kind of weird. Where is he? I don't know! You can help me. Let him go. Batman! Let him go. It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? Where are they? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Where is she? Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Mm, good point. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. So literally his only problem is that he inherited money that he had no control over them, the ways that they gained they it. They found Catwoman. What do you want with That's her? That's not really fair. We had a deal, she didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch, I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes, oh, beautiful name. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna fight uh, Killer Croc or whoever this guy is. <laughs> well, that did fuck all. Hey, yeah, take a stool to the face. Gonna have to try harder than this. Whoa! I was hoping it would like hit him on the chest and like yank him out and he'd be like holding on everything. And straight back up into a fist? No. Will they run away quickly? Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. He looks kind of funny when he runs. 
so far so good again they're still keeping it up so i'm really happy with it uh the kind of the plots kind of the plot's interesting and i'm pretty sure now we're probably going to go and try and find selena uh because she's in danger from penguins people because apparently she didn't fulfill something or something like that so yeah we'll see what happens now uh with this second half of episode two so here we go And the stack deck, that's cool, because that's in Arkham City, so... Anything... Arkham City is awesome to me. Is that Bruce Wayne? You really think you... A new twist in the race for the mayor's office, as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill, Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. He sounds like one of them dodgy people that ring into them like late night boob channels. Can you hear? The way he talks. You lost? Because I don't have time for tours. Which is ironic, since she looks like a tour guide. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey. Don't I know you? No. It is you. Knew it. It looks like Grundy from Grundy's Wonders. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Look, back off. Now. <laughs> Jesus, man. No need to get all dramatical. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Seems more like he's trying to start a fight. Fun fact, I saw Grundy when I was a little kid. We were in the Whatever. car, and he was crossing the road in front of us, and I'm sure it was Grundy. I don't remember what Grundy's first name is. Let's call him Solomon, since we're playing Batman. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. It's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. Across the pond in old England? I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. She does have a very good, like, Catwoman voice, like the kind of sultry... The question is, why Gotham? Why now? Sexy thing. It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Whatever Penguin is planning, innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence. Not me. Bruce. Sweetie. The gallant knight thing. It really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us? Working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? 
Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Okay, is this going to be generic thugs or someone actually important? Is he that one that was... He's that one that was with Penguin, right? Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Gentlemen, please, sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking. Oh, damn, that was great. Oh, shit. He literally pounded his face. Grip for it, and then he kind of turned it into a, a slam. Uh, oh, okay, let's go for the pool table. If it'll move quicker, come on! Fucking hell. <sighs> Drugs in that outfit, it's like Clyde Redfield's like, kind of red jacket, jean thing. Why is my bat logo full? I've hit everything so far. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. That's just silly. You may as well do the thing like the Matrix where he like plants it in the middle and like runs around them. Whack you in the head. Ooh, that looked nasty. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. I like how it makes you do like some of the most mundane things. On, like, okay, press way. A here. Like, why can't they just done that in cutscene? It's like, we need to have it be more interactive. It just seems kind of redundant when they're that short. Quick, check the alleyway. I love the lighting. Can you see anything? Negative. Let's check the other side. Like I love how it, I love how it looks. Like it just works. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're we're alone. At least for me, I can imagine some people might like kind of not like the art style, but for me, it just works really well. Like just look at the, like the things in his hair. Like the way they do that just looks really good. Let's get out of here. Oh god damn! We got made to look like a pussy. I thought she was gonna go in for it as well. Oh, well. oh now we I'll look like the a rooftops. fucking. You take the alley. Love sick puppy. Wait. But bloody Batman, for God's sake, I shouldn't have done that. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Who said I did? <laughs> Fucking love that gadget so much. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. It's like one of the things that they had in the Batman, like, cartoon series. Like, 
It had like little like rocket thrusters that you could like stick to. Processing towards. it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... No. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. I say we're talented enough. Let's go with going as Bruce. Oh, if we if we go to if we go to the right, does he turn into Batman? Damn, I love that. Okay, so we are gonna go for Bruce. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Thank you, thank you. I'm, see, I'm very smart. The game said it itself. I'm very smart, so just remember that. Okay, yeah, so that's it for chapter four. Next time, I guess we go and visit Mayor Hill as Bruce Wayne. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time for the finale of episode two, Children of Arkham. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And uh, see you next time. Thanks, guys.